everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Race Up Flambe Fun Size. Looking back on the recipes so far this season, I realize we've done a lot of squash. I mean, three out of the first five episodes were squash related. I mean, I made pumpkin ravioli. Josie went up me with that spaghetti squash and marinara sauce, which she ultimately failed at cutting it open. And then she went back to Camp Pumpkin to make that pumpkin roll last week. So today we're going to get rid of all the squash and go back to basics. Today we're going to be making broccoli cheddar soup. For that, we're going to need broccoli, chicken broth, cheddar cheese, pepper, an onion, a carrot, flour, half and half, salt, and unsalted butter. Our first step is to dice up a quarter of an onion. Now if you're dicing your onion, what we're going to do is throw this into the pot with a little bit of butter and salt and let it sweat. Once the onion has become translucent, what we're going to do is pull it out and put it into a bowl. Next, we're going to turn the pot to the stove, add some more butter and some flour to make it roux. Once we've added our butter, what we're going to do is wait for the butter to melt and then add our flour and stir. Okay, once our butter is melted, we're going to start whisking in our flour. Once we whisk in our flour, what we're going to do is let it cook for a little bit to get that floury taste out of it. Then once it's done, we're going to add our chicken broth. As we're waiting for our mixture to come to a boil, we're going to chop our broccoli and grate our carrot. Now our roux mixture is up to a boil, what we're going to do is add our half and half and all of our vegetables. Now we're going to bring our soup up to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, we're going to drop down the temperature and let it simmer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, pull it from the heat and slowly add the cheese. So I want to add a little bit of time so that it allows it to melt into it. If the soup starts to cool off too much, we can return to the heat and let it warm up a little bit more. Basically, we want to make sure that this cheese melts into it and doesn't become too gritty and stringy as it would be if we let it boil on there. Once the cheese is finished melting in, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. Mix that in. Now we use the bread bowl here. You can use a regular bowl or whatever you like. For this recipe and all our previous recipes, check out our website at raisedflambe.org. And there you can also follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We won't have a new episode next week, but join us in two weeks as Josie makes peanut brittle. Until then, I'm Ricardo Diego. Thank you for watching.